Hey guys, welcome to part three. We have two of my favorite teams, TSM and 100 Thief. Let's get started. There's actually a lot to dig into for TSM and just a little for 100 Thief. For TSM, the three big rumors are return of Biofrost, the return of the prodigal son, return of Bio Daddy, return of the support bard mastermind. Oh my goodness, return of Biofrost, poggers. And as I mentioned with CLG, if Smoothie's going to CLG, the newest rumor is that Biofrost will be making a triumphant return to TSM. Kabe to TSM. This one is really surprising. I actually don't like the rumor that much. I heard that at one point in time, Kabe was talking to C9, but the latest rumors have him at TSM. Import AD carry is not a role that I'm in love with. I would much rather have imports in top or mid lane, but TSM's in a unique situation where their mid lane, Bjergsen, actually counts as a North American player, so it makes a lot of sense for them. And the third one is trying to get Ohm. I've also heard new rumor, by the way, that they're trying to hire um, how do you pronounce his name? Home? Home? The old Samsung Home. Galaxy coach? Yeah. So yeah, those are the big rumors. And on top of the rumors, we got some sprinkles from Fion. Fion gave us a few clues. For those of you guys that don't know Fion, he is the eSport writer. Um, he works in the same office as Jacob Wolf, and he's going to be part of Jacob Wolf's show to talk about off-season. So he has the same information that Jacob Wolf does. So basically, one of the clues, I interpreted it as a German player to TSM. And the two German players that can be possible are either upset or amazing. Those are like the only two German players that I think are in the realm of possibility. So I think it's going to be one or the other. And the other one is two Danish stars coming together, right? So I think there's a lot of variations that it can be. It can be Spence Garen with Bjergsen, or it can be Kabe with Bjergsen, or it could not be TSM. Maybe the C9 package to EG deal stands, and then it could be like Spence Garen and Jensen on EG. There's a lot of diff different ways things could go, but I think it is most likely talking about TSM, and I think everything kind of aligns with Kabe plus Bjergsen. And I do think Kabe is going to end up joining TSM. It's just rumors. I'm not confirming anything, but I heard Kabe to Bjergsen from multiple sources and also Fion's clues and also Travis saying Kabe to TSM. There's just way too many things pointing at Kabe to TSM for it to not go through. I, I mean, no rumor is ever confirmed. All rumors are still rumors, but I think the Kabe to TSM is just... I heard it from way too many different places for it to not go through. That's how I feel about it. If it doesn't go through, now I'd be surprised. So what are some of my thoughts? I think Bjerg must have a lot of control within the roster. This is like a pretty forehead thing. Like I'm sure everyone understands um, Bjerg is a part owner and Bjerg has always had a huge voice on TSM. But some of the rumored players coming back to TSM are very good friends of Bjerg, amazing, Biofrost. I'm not saying they're terrible players and it's a nepotism pickup. But I am saying it seems like Bjerg is having a strong hand in terms of roster building. Yeah, the Kabe to TSM being very likely. I already talked about that. I just, there's not much to add. Kabe to TSM going to be very likely. Oh, <laughs> Redditor was making a comment about how it's not going to happen because Kabe has a girlfriend in Europe <laughs> that, that he has sex with. So apparently sex is outlawed in Los Angeles. I mean, that actually explains a lot about why I haven't been getting laid. Thank you, random Redditor, for letting me feel less bad about not getting laid in Los Angeles. Now, the jungle position for TSM. This is where there's a huge question mark. Huge, ginormous question mark. There's so many different things that can go down. One thing I will say is I think it's obvious that it's not going to be Akkadian. It's not going to be Grig. It's not going to be Spica. I don't think it's going to be any of the three. So let's go down the list of potential options. Number one, X Smithy. Is X Smithy retiring? Is X Smithy staying on Team Liquid? He'd be one of my top choices along with Spence Garen. I would love to see X Smithy join TL or TSM. I think X Smithy is a leader. I think X Smithy has his own voice. I think X Smithy is experienced. I think X Smithy won't get run over by Bjergsen, and I think X Smithy can handle the really stressful and the harsh TSM environment. I think he flourished there. Dardock. Time seems ripe. Dardock hopefully learned his lessons about being a little shithead and starring in Breaking Point and making my life miserable. JK, JK. I hope he learned his lessons while playing in Academy and not getting a starter spot. And also, I hope TSM learned their lessons on passive junglers and why Dardock can be that great player for them, can be that solution. 
It would kind of be like romantic get together in a way. Both TSM and Dardark are flawed, and by joining together, they are covering for each other's flaw. I, I actually would love to see this happen and work out. The third one, amazing, Return of the Stricken Schneider. I think TSM needs an experienced jungler with their own voice, and amazing has proven that he is an experienced jungler with his own voice on 100 Thieves, and he also previously played for TSM, and I know amazing is like good friend of TSM, like he talks about going over to the TSM's house during season to hang out with the boys and just to say hi, so I don't think this is realm of, out of realm of possibility at all. I know a lot of Reddit might have like a really low view on Amazing, but I think Amazing is someone that is very like capable of playing up to the level that's required, at least for North America. Medios. This is one I really don't believe in and I really don't think it's going to happen, but I'll talk about it anyway. I think it's a terrible culture fit. I think Medios is a very chill dude. I think Medios has his own idea on how the game should be played, but in the time of need, you are willing to be a little bit more desperate. You must be truly desperate to come to me for help. When do we start? Now, the final one, Svenskeren. This one, there is rumblings about the Svenskeren to EG that getting cancelled, and this would fully bring back the season 6 voice. You bring back Biofrost, you bring back Svenskeren, and the buyout would be huge, and it actually would be hilarious watching Andy pay a premium to Jack for a player he probably sold like really cheap. <laughs> Having to re-pick him up for an expensive price? That sounds like a C9 move though. I don't think Jack's gonna do Andy any of the favors. And finally, why not just get a ward? Why waste a whole year turning a player into a ward when you can start by signing a ward to begin with? It's only gonna cost you 75 gold Andy. So for the coaching thing, for the own rumor, I think that one's very unlikely. You know how much you have to pay for a proven coach in LPL? That's like 700,000 or like 600,000. And in LPL, a lot of the salaries listed are post-tax, not pre-tax. So I don't think Ohm will take a pay cut to move to North America. And also he's married. He has a waifu. The waifu isn't very happy whenever you tell her to move to a different country when she already has like her life laid out there. He ain't coming to North America. It ain't happening, my dudes. So yeah, I wonder who TSM will get for a coach. I wonder who TSM will get for their jungle. And for top lane, I'm pretty curious on what's going to happen with Broken Blade either. I don't think they're entirely happy with Broken Blade, so I can see a switch up there, but I can also see them keeping Broken Blade. Let's go full speculation. No rumors. Like This is not based on anything but me dreaming. Let's go to some dream rosters. Version 1. 2016. Run it back. We don't need that trash can. Someday in top lane, Svenskeren in jungle, Bjerks in mid lane, Kabe Biofrost. This happens if the Svenskeren trade does not go through. The Biofrost trade for Smoothie goes through with CLG, and then TSM buys someday from 100 Deep, and Kabe ends up coming to North America. I think this is like in the realm of possibility. TSM would have to spend money for someday and Svenskeren. They're not the team to buy out, but if they want to be competitive from the get go of spring season, I think this is a roster that's very possible, and I would love to see it come together. I think Svenskeren and Bjerg are going to work amazingly together. The only downside for this is I hope Sunday is okay with being more of a carry role and being more vocal because Kabe is known for kind of weak laning and it's not like Biofrost is the best laner in the world either so they would be a top side focus team but I think it gives the team a lot of balance across the board there's no weak link and there's no like troublemakers I think this is a team that can really work well together so I would love to see this man Andy Spend that dollar. Come on, cash out. Make the TSM fans happy again. I don't think it's very likely that this roster beats TL, but this would be a roster that can be competitive, and that's definitely world quality. So let's go to version two. It's called Upsetting the Oz. It would be Broken Blade in top lane, X Smithy in the jungle, Bjerg in mid lane, with Upset and Smoothie in the bot lane. So this one happens if the Biofrost trade does not happen with CLG and TL ends up getting like upgrade in jungle and X Smithy becomes available on the market and Upset comes to North America. I don't like this roster as much as I like version one, but I would still be able to live with it. It's an upgrade from last year and definitely an upgrade in the jungle role, which is something desperately needed and you're giving Broken Blade a second shot. 
So this one is a little bit more conservative, and I also think it'll be much cheaper. You don't have to buy any out. You don't have to buy out any players. Upset's contract ended. X Smithy's contract ended, and you're carrying over three players from last year. So yeah, it's a much cheaper roster to go with, but it's at least better, right? It's a little better. So yeah, that's my thoughts on TSM. I'm still the biggest fan of TSM, and there's a lot of hope going into it. Any kind of rumors that are good about TSM I hear, I'm like, oh my god, I hope this grows through. Any kind of rumors I hear about TSM that's bad, I'm like, oh fuck, I hope this doesn't go through. But yeah, that's kind of where I'm at, and this is the dream roster for me. Let's go to 100 Deep. Actually, we'll keep it extremely short and sweet. 100 Deep is changing their strategy to embrace native talent according to Papa and Tony, and it just very much is in line with what they want to do. Bang might stay, someday might leave, according to Travis Gafford. So yeah, these are kind of the rumors for 100 Deep so far. Now I have heard that Bang might be sticking around, but I don't know if that's true, but I've heard uh, someday is probably not going to be on 100 Deep next year. My thoughts on it is 100 Deep were very much willing to spend if the opportunity was there. I mean, that's not my thoughts. That's something I know. Um, there were some names for mid lane that were thrown around. Jensen, Yukal. I'm sure there were other names in the hat, but it just didn't really go through. It did not seem they were available. And yeah, they decided this is not something that's feasible right now, building like a winning roster. Let's embrace the NA talent. Let's have a longer term two year, three year plan. I think that's the direction they've ended up with. Just nothing was really there. Like some years, players aren't available. There's teams coming in like EG and Optic or Immortals, excuse me, that are fucking the market because they're so willing to overpay for players or Dignitas with like 2.3 mil salary for Huni. It's not feasible for a team to be competitive while being budget conscious. And I think 100 Thieves is realizing, hey, if you want to compete this year, we're going to have to go all out. And that's just not in the cards. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And once again, thank you to Travis Gafford and Hotline League and Mark Z for providing the rumors for the video. And remember, guys, I'm not crazy. I'm just loco. Bye.